Good evening and welcome to Christ Lutheran Church, Roanoke, Virginia. We welcome you to our evening prayer service this evening. The bulletin is found on our website, ChristLutheranRoanoke.org. Please join us as we pray tonight for ourselves, for the world, for all. And so let us take a few moments of silence as we prepare for worship this night. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and, and grant us your salvation. salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your, your saving health among all nations. nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my cry, and let my cry come before you.
Today's word for the week is the word baptism. This past Sunday, Reformation Sunday, we celebrated the affirmation of baptism of six of our young people here at Christ Lutheran. A beautiful service, heartfelt testimonies from our youth, and a gracious, God-filled day of affirmation of baptism. In baptism, our gracious Heavenly Father frees us from sin and death by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are born children of a fallen humanity. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn children of God and made members of the church, the body of Christ. Living with Christ and in the communion of saints, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. An opening statement and prayer on baptism from our Evangelical Lutheran worship book. We begin baptism with that documentation, that proclamation, that in baptism, God frees us from sin and death. Later on in the book of worship, for the affirmation of baptism, Affirmation of baptism often occurs at the end of an intentional time of instruction, often for our young people, usually around 8th or ninth grade. And for three years, give or take, they have been studying not only the word, but the meaning behind the word. Following the precepts of what has been taught through scripture and through the word, through the theology of our church, using often Luther's small catechism written for families to, to read to each other. But in our affirmation service, we say this prayer over those soon to be affirming their baptism. Let us pray, merciful God. We thank you for these sisters and brothers whom you have made your own by water and the word. In baptism, you have called them to yourself, enlightened them with the gifts of your spirit, and nourished them in the community of faith. Uphold your servants in the gifts and promises of baptism, and unite the hearts of all whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. And later on in the service, we ask the young people, those who are about to affirm their baptism, we say, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism? To live among God's faithful people? To hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper? To proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed? To serve all people following the example of Jesus? And to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. And they respond, I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. In Luther's small catechism, the teaching on baptism begins with an answer to a question. That is how a catechism works. It asks questions that have to deal with theology and the tenets of faith, and gives the answer. And part of the catechismus method of teaching is to not only learn the questions, but to also learn the answers. What is baptism? Luther writes, baptism is not just water, but it is the water included in God's command and combined with God's word, which is the word of God. Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. What benefits does baptism give? It works forgiveness of sin, rescues from death and the devil, and gives us eternal salvation to all who believe this, as the words and promises of God declare. 
which are these words and promises of God. From Mark, the 16th chapter. Christ our Lord says, Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. The question, how can water do such great things? Certainly not just water, but the word of God in and with water does these things, along with the faith which trusts this word of God in the water. For without God's word, the water is plain water and no baptism. But with the word of God, it is a baptism. That is, a life-giving water, rich in grace and a washing of the new birth of the Holy Spirit, as St. Paul says in Titus chapter 3. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying. And the final question, what does such baptizing with water indicate? It indicates that the old Adam in us should be daily, by daily contrition and repentance, be drowned and die with all sins and evil desires, and that a new person should daily emerge and arise to live before Adam, before God, in righteousness and purity forever. St. Paul writes in Romans chapter 6, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead to the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. Baptism. The word of the week.
Thank you to everyone who shared those pictures and reflections with us this week. It's beautiful. We continue with the prayers of intercession. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Merciful and most high God, creator and giver of life. You have called all people from darkness into light, from error into truth, from death into life. Grant grace to us and to all the baptized. Raise us by your spirit. Revive us by your word. Form us by your hand. That with all your people we may bear witness to your grace and praise you forever. Hear us, Lord. Great God, our Lord Jesus, healed the sick and gave new hope to the hopeless. Though we cannot command or possess your power, we pray for those who want to be healed. Mend their wounds, soothe fevered brows, and make broken people whole again. Help us to welcome every healing as a sign that though death is against us, you are for us and have promised renewed and risen life in Jesus Christ the Lord. Hear us, Lord. Almighty God, your Holy Spirit equips the church with a variety of gifts. Grant that we may use them to bear witness to Christ in lives that are built on faith and love. Make us ready to live the gospel and eager to do your will, so that we may share with all your church in the joys of eternal life. Hear us, Lord. Almighty God, grant that your holy word, which has been proclaimed this day, may enter into our hearts through your grace, that it may produce in us the fruit of the Spirit for witness and service in the world and to the praise and honor of your name. Hear us, Lord. give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive us all our sins where we have done wrong and graciously protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Go in peace.